everyone, Sophia here from mygreatchallenge.blogspot.com. I'm back in the garden today. I am building a mini pallet patio. So this is where I left you off. Um, the last time I did a gardening video, this is my vegetable garden. And I talked about the pallets right here. So I'm gonna to explain to you what's going on here. You see here, there's kind of like a dent in my um, driveway, which is built that way. It's because the water runs off this way and then it kind of goes here and it's always soggy in this area right there. So I can never really enjoy my grass, which is really like, you know, wild stuff. I mean, this was never, never landscaped. So what I want to do today, um, I want to take those out and I'm going to till this whole area right here. Just a very quick till, just to turn the soil over. I'm going to level it and then I have a um, connection with um, a company in town that is going to allow me to take the pallets. So I'm going to go and get another 10, maybe 15 pallets and all of those pallets are going to be put together this way. I'm going to put a tarp underneath so that way the grass doesn't grow back and with the extra pallets I'm going to get additional boards which I'm going to rip and they're going to be used to fill in the gap. So basically this is going to create a huge wooden platform. Now this is not something that's going to be permanent. It's probably going to last me two summers. Eventually the whole yard needs to be leveled up with gravel all over and then soil brought back in so that I can have garden beds, I can have grass, I can have whatever I want. Because remember I have all the water that runs off in the back over there. So this yard is a problem. My only temporary solution right now is to create a big patio made out of pallets. It's cheap. It's really not going to cost me anything except hard work. So my first step here is to remove these pallets here. I already moved one. I'm going to take them out of the yard and then I marked all the way where I need to have my rows to have a little thing here. So this whole area here like this, all of this, I need to till. And I'm not gonna till it like I did here. I'm just gonna do a, a quick job, remove most of the big rocks and level it. tilled everything at least five times. I need to take the rake and grade the whole thing. Um, this side is higher than this one and definitely higher than this. So I kind of have to bring all the dirt toward this area here to kind of level it. I don't have a machine like a backhoe with a uh, um, whatever you call it. So I have, to do, I have to do it by hand. That's all right. It doesn't have to be perfect. Here we go. 17 pallets. Took a while to get them here. Here's the tarp. This is um, landscaper's fabric really. I'm gonna roll it and make um, you know like bands going this way and I just gotta lay all my pallets. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna do some this way and then the other ones that way and then the third row this way. three rows of landscapers fabric because I'm gonna have three rows of pallets so I have to start to place them and they have to be uh, square and perpendicular and all that nonsense it's gonna take me a while This 
is where I'm at so far. This is super, super hard. Um, I'm still trying to layer them because some of them are 43, others are 40. Uh, I'm missing one, two, three, and then I have to level all the way in the back to put the other row. Be right back, gotta go pick up the kids. Well, let me tell you, this is taking way longer than I expected, and it's also much, much harder. I am wiped. I don't even think I'm gonna finish this today. Let me give you a look. So, here we go. I have all the pallets set up. Um, I couldn't put them in opposite way because they're not the same size, obviously. But for the most part, they're not moving because they are leveled. So that's what it looks like as of now. Now, I've got to get my crowbar and wherever I see a board that's busted and broken like this one, that needs to be taken out and I have to replace it with one of the boards from the leftover pallets. And what I'm probably going to do is um, remove a lot of the boards and kind of like shift them. Um, I'm not looking to have like, see here, the space here is too much. I want a space that's much, much smaller. Um, I don't know, maybe this much, so I don't know if I have enough wood. Here's another example of a board I need to remove because it's broken here. But otherwise, so far, um, there's one in the middle over there. Doesn't look too bad. Once I have all of the boards in place and the gaps filled, it's going to look much better. And then I have to take my saw, my electric saw, and I have to cut right here where I have an excess. So that way, and over there as well, so that way this is kind of, you know, a straight line. All right, so let's see how hard it is to remove a board from a pallet. Shouldn't be too hard. Uh-huh. All done. Alright, here's another example of something that Diego has planned. I expected it would be so much easier to get the board out. I can't get the nails out of this, so I had to uh, literally um, dig them back into the, uh, the board. So, uh, hard, hard, hard. So this is where I'm at so far. Um, I've started to remove boards, at least the ones that I know are seriously broken. I didn't tackle this one yet. Having a hard time with that one over there. But I gotta tell you, I've been using the uh, crowbar and that helps a lot. So, I gotta take the kiddo to karate. I'm definitely not done today. It's hard work, guys. Um, you see this system of deck, patio, all over Pinterest? As though this is something that is super easy to do. And I think by far this is one of the hardest things I've done. It requires a lot of strength and uh, a lot of time and uh, yeah you have to be patient so taking the kid to karate um i'll see what i can do before dinner i'm definitely finish this tomorrow or maybe sunday i don't know we'll see okay so i'm starting to take boards off the pallets i'm not using and here's one board that i just pulled out so you see this would be um the normal gap that you have on the pallet and I'm putting my board right here, so that would be the maximum kind of gap that I would allow myself to have. So I'm just going to go ahead and nail those um, and see what it looks like. It doesn't have to be the same color. Remember, I'm doing kind of like a rustic patio palette deck. This is where I'm at. Um, I got an entire pallet done and then I started another one over there. So now you get the idea 
how what it's gonna look like and then uh, with the sunshine repeatedly pounding it it's basically all gonna get to that great color so I don't even think I'm gonna stain the whole thing maybe I will I don't know I gotta think about it but basically this is what it looks like right now um, this will be part one because I'm exhausted and it's already seven o'clock I don't want to spend the entire um, evening doing that I still have to make dinner but it's gonna look really really cool so just use your imagination all right I'm gonna have my table over there with the lettuce growing on it and then I can put a couple of chairs here lawn chairs an umbrella a couple of potted plants whatever and it's gonna be perfect for us for now as you remember I have the water coming here and running basically all the way up to here and into the rest of the yard on the other side so now the water is going to be underneath so this whole area here is going to be dry all summer long all right so this was a quick video to show you what i was doing today um like i said it's 7 30 so i'm done for today i'm exhausted i'm not gonna have any trouble falling asleep tonight tomorrow it's saturday i'm going to school it's my last class i'm almost almost done then i have the big test but anyway tomorrow i'm going to school so when i come back around 4 4 30 i'll take a break and then i'll get back to this do a couple probably start a second video but the second video will have the entire project being completed so i'm hoping you enjoy this um i'm not sure if you get the uh, idea of what it's going to look like once it's done but trust me it's gonna look really really cool give me a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe if you're new and i'll talk to you later bye, bye.